Hello, I'm Jeff Gold. Thanks so much for joining us today on this very special session of Under the Microscope. Our guest today is Dr. Keith Olson, who's the Dean of the UNMC College of Pharmacy. And Keith, thanks so much for being with us today. So it's about three quarters of a year, roughly, uh, since you started as the Dean. And of course, uh, welcome back to the campus after all of the wonderful time and service that you put in here previously. But uh, the reason we're chatting today, and I'm sure our audience would like to know, is uh, what's your experience been like uh, over the last couple of months? And then we'll talk a little bit about uh, what do you see for the future of the college? Well, I think it's been a great uh, experience coming back. And really, the, the experiences I had while I was gone really set me up uh, for this position, uh, which I think would have been very difficult to do um, otherwise, because it's such a, a, a complicated with so many different parts moving uh, on this uh, campus. Now, Alibi, I've come back in a different position than I was here before, mm -hmm. but uh, what made it easy is the faculty and the students are so productive and uh, have so many metrics uh, for that. But I think when you look at the campus uh, as a whole, some of the things that I've really been impressed by were uh, embracing diversity. Well, I remember during the final stages of the uh, search process and when you and I were meeting, I remember the day very well when you were sitting in my office and we were talking about what the future of the college might be, is that you had some real goals, some things that, first of all, you had learned when you were here about the community and about the college. Uh, and you certainly had some experiences uh, while you were in Arkansas that set a stage that created a foundation for what you might want to look at in the future. And I'm curious, you know, now not quite a year into your time here, uh, are those starting to turn into realities for you? And, and what are they? I'm sure our audience would be interested. Well, certainly on the education side, uh, if we start there. Always a good place to start. We're right. To, we kicked off uh, an accreditation uh, self-study Mm -hmm. in August with a retreat. And we'll engage a number of students in that process as well. But I think in accreditation, it's a, t a chance to, to take a look at what you do well as what you may have a chance to I improve mm -hmm. on. So we do a lot of things really well. I mean, our, our students have been above the national average for over 25 years on our, sure. our licensure exam. Our pharmacy curricular outcomes assessment after the third year, we finished. Actually, had some of the highest scores yeah. in the country, right? We, did. we finished number one last year. We number should, one, right? Should be very sim close to that uh, this year. But I think, in, in overall, after we get through this accreditation process and we take a, a look back at us ourselves, that we want to do a, another retreat in 2021 because we're a year out from the accreditation visit, and we want to look at our our curriculum and how are we preparing students for practice 10 years from now. Now our students, our faculty have done a great job of adapting to this new building and using the technology that's available, but we always have to look at say, how can we do things better, mm -hmm. how can we integrate more practice and case-based type studies into our uh, curriculum. And so I think that'll be our focus, to try to meet the needs of the mm -hmm. learner today and in the future. Well, that's really exciting. So what I would like to do is uh, have this conversation again, maybe uh, in another six months, and see where you are on the education side, and then also have an opportunity to discuss with you uh, where you think the college is going on the research uh, and the clinical side, which are very important aspects of our direction as well. But I do want to take this opportunity to thank you for, of course, coming home uh, back to the campus. And for all that you've done, we are so proud of the college. You know, as the audience might be able to see just from the backdrop here, uh, we're sitting in the compounding lab of the uh, new College of Pharmacy building, which is just a magnificent facility. And while it's not filled with students uh, on this particular day, I've been here many times, and it's just buzzing with students and faculty. So congratulations, and, and thanks so much for everything that you're doing. Thank you. And thank you for being with us today on this session of Under the Microscope.